A few years ago, I did a series of seminars which allowed me to visit several golf courses through Southeast Asia. Some of the places I visited during the trip included Hong Kong, Bangkok, and Kuala Lumpur. The first stop is Hong Kong. This photograph was taken from my hotel room. Hong Kong is a territory located in Southeast China that was originally a British colony. The British transferred the sovereignty of Hong Kong to China in 1997. This ended, for all practical purposes, the British Empire. In central Hong Kong, there is a small group of streets called Lan Kua Fong, which is a popular area for expats to go to dinner, bars, and clubs. The sign shown here is the most photographed sign in Hong Kong. Hong Kong has a population of approximately 7.5 million people, an area of 426 square miles. Hong Kong is the fourth most densely populated region in the world. There are only six golf courses in Hong Kong. Needless to say, the likelihood of getting a membership at one of these clubs is slim. The golf courses are approximately an hour drive or longer, depending on traffic from central Hong Kong, which is shown here in the background. The golf course shown here is Clearwater Bay Golf Club, situated along the Pacific Ocean. I believe there is an ocean view on each of the 18 holes. In the past, this course has been hit by typhoons, which is the name for a hurricane in the western Pacific Ocean. The impact of the ocean surge from that typhoon covered the fairway and green. There are three major warm season turf grasses used on golf courses in Hong Kong and throughout Southeast Asia. They are Bermuda grass, seashore paspala, and zoysia matrella. On greens, Bermuda grass or seashore paspalum are used, and in this case, the greens at Clearwater Bay Golf Club are Tiff Eagle Bermuda grass. For fairways and the rest of the golf courses in Southeast Asia, Bermuda grass, seashore paspalum, and zoysia matrella, as previously mentioned, are used. Here, the fairways at Clearwater Bay are zoysia matrella. Given the hot, humid conditions in Hong Kong and throughout, again, Southeast Asia, pests like diseases and insects are major concerns. However, the biggest issue has to do with the excessive cloudy weather. There are two seasons in Southeast Asia, the rainy season and the dry season, although the dry season is relatively wet, too. Next stop is Bangkok, Thailand. The population of Bangkok is slightly above 8 million. If you include the metro region, that swells to 14 million. In Thailand, there are 250 golf courses, with 40 of those around Bangkok. I spoke at Summit Windmill Golf Course, a resort and residential property development um, outside of Bangkok. The course itself was primarily Bermuda grass. As I touched on previously, during the rainy season, the lack of sufficient sunlight is a big issue. During the rainy season, there are weeks or months of not enough sunlight for warm season turf grasses to grow effectively. So much of the turf maintenance is focused on trying to select the best turf species and or varieties that perform well under low light conditions and develop management practices that work well in low light conditions. Here is the practice putting green, and you can see the impact of low light on the quality of the green, off color, different textures, etc. One unique aspect of playing golf in Bangkok was the use of female caddies. Not that all are female, there are a few males, but the overwhelming number are women. I've attached an article I wrote on my interactions with caddies in Thailand, which you can read in a section below this one. It is not a required assignment. Before leaving Bangkok, I just wanted to mention that although there are several types of 
religion in Thailand, Buddhism is the most practiced. In the following section on Adventures of Golf, you will see indirectly some of the mystic associated with Buddhism when they are playing golf. This picture I took is of one of the more famous Buddhist temples in Bangkok, Wat Arun. I hope that's how it's said. Our last stop is Kuala Lumpur, the capital of Malaysia. This view from my hotel room is of the skyline. The twin towers are the Patronus Towers, which are the tallest twin towers in the world. One of the courses I spoke at was TPC Kuala Lumpur, home to the PGA Tour event, the CIMB Classic, and an LPGA event, the Simi Darby Malaysia. The course is entirely seashore past Palem. I believe the variety is Salem. Here, the major pest issues are mole crickets and fall armyworm. But again, in this area, low light conditions lead to numerous difficulties in managing the turf. Seashore pass Balaam has performed better in this climate than was initially thought of. My opinion is much better than Bermuda grass. Given the hot, humid conditions, many of the golf courses are lit for night golf. Again, in the optional video in the next section, you will be able to see how a course is lit up. Maintenance equipment is often found on many of the golf courses throughout Southeast Asia. In this case, this is one of the maintenance buildings at TPC Kuala Lumpur. So this ends our short cruise through Southeast Asia.